Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boyas. Yes, 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 Blinds closed. I'm back, boy. I'm off on Just Joe. In the future to me, in the past to you, I'm off on Just Joe at seven. This video will be out at eight. I'm filming it at four. So future to me, I'm off on Just Joe. Past to you. Watch Just Joe either after you've watched this because you weren't on and I was on there. So go watch it. Or you'll have been watching it and then you'll see this come out and go, bosh. Bing, bang, boom. Bosh. You know what time it is. Got a couple of shout outs to do. My first two ever members, these boys. So these have a special place in my heart. Longest serving members. Shout out to David Crowley and Mr. P. Legends. David Crowley, Mr. P. Shout out to both of you. Longest standing members. It's 99p a month or something. Oh, £1.99 a month or something. I can't quite remember. You know what time it is. Get that badger in and on and over here. Woody's been mentioned. That is Woody. That's my dude. He is not quite in and on and over here, but he will be in and on and over here so at some point. Uh, Fred gets a quick mention. There's my dude. You don't get to see him though that often. He's behind the camera. He likes to... He gets... Uh, he does all research for me. Quick shit vid. Let's get to it. I just want to quickly mention as well, I'll mint some of the comments while I meant Obviously, spoke a little bit about Johnny Giles last night. And uh, some of the comments have just been mint. Like, actually, not to be lame, but it sort of... It made me realise I need to be more conscious of making an effort to mention more at Old Boys. Because, you know, I never got to see them. But, you know, I've obviously seen tapes of them and stuff. And they are spoke about a lot. But, you know, sometimes you need a reman reminder, I do believe. So, yeah, it was pretty mint. And just some people just saying that when they watched him and just that he was, like, everybody's favourite player and stuff, Johnny Giles. So, and he really let Bremner do his ting. So, I just thought it was worth it. Another honorary mention. So, yeah. Christensen isn't wanted in Roma, allegedly. So, there's a massive wage bill, apparently, that they're accumulating. So, they might... They've, they've got Christensen in that budget. They've got Christensen and they've got um, Lorente, sick note. But they might sign Lorente because they're, they're on about just selling him immediately to PSG uh, and then making a profit, So, which is, seems mental. But they've obviously got first dibs on him because he went on there, he went on loan there first. But yeah, it is looking like they're going to offload Christensen, which sort of opens up the thought and the, the awful concern that he's coming back, which I don't think he is coming back. Um, but, you know... He's going to have to go somewhere and he's not the most in-demand man in the world, is he? So, in-demand man. Um, got me thinking, really. So, where do we desperately need to strengthen in the Prem when we get when we go up as champions? Which, obviously, ironically, Christensen is a right-back. But And I'm about to say, for me, obviously, both full-backs uh, definitely need... We need some full-backs. Uh, if we can acquire Rodon as well, um, that's obviously mint. Because uh, if we don't have Rodon, then we need a centre back. But if we get Rodon, we can just sort of resume as normal, can't we? And then obviously Struick will be back next year, and then we've got Ampadu as a backup, backup potentially. Because he'll go. I would have thought next year he'll go into midfield role again, and we'll be a bit more solid in there. But he's always, always an option to come back and play in that uh, in back line, isn't he? Obviously, always going to need a number nine, which is just obvious. Everybody says it every single year, but it's the hardest place to go find somebody, isn't it? But you always need a, a number nine. There'll be an extreme amount of competition to get these number nines. They don't grow on trees. Uh, but ultimately, we can't rely on Bamford forever. I mean, I love Bamford. Lord Bamford is my man, my favourite Leeds player since Lee Bowyer. But, um, you know, he's getting older. And when we... We've struggled to replace him now for years. So, you know, it's going to be difficult, that. We're just going to have to hang in there a little bit. And let's not just sign somebody for the sake of signing somebody. Let's not get that on band, get on that bandwagon. Because realistically, every single position needs to be improved, doesn't it, if we're going to go and actually do something decent in Prem. So, and that goes for every single team in the world. So, you know, if it, if it doesn't need replacing, it needs strengthening, doesn't it, or better competition. I've had an idiot subscriber, which I will remain nameless, who just like bangs onto me. I'm sure he just tries to wind me up. Uh, it doesn't really work. He, he keeps saying that I've blocked him, and 
as the Lord is my witness, I've never blocked anybody on YouTube or Twitter or ever, to be honest. Um, because I I don't really care, and it does my algorithm in the world a good. The more he comments, so he always every time the video doesn't do that well, he seems to be the one that comments. So I'm like, I think he's watching me more than the guys that actually like me. If anybody does like me out there, let me know if you like me, guys. Like us on, follow us on Twitter and that Jack City Music. But yeah, one idiot said that he was suggesting that Longstaff is Newcastle's worst player, and that would be an horrendous signing. Well, ultimately, Longstaff was, you know, part of. Even let's say, even if that was true, that Longstaff is the worst player at Newcastle, it was a major part of getting him to a cup final, a major part of getting him into the top four, and then the mate, you know, then they kept him the year after to be part of the squad, and then he has fallen off a little bit and not played so much. But ultimately, even if that's true, if we come up out of the Championship and he's achieved that in the Prem, that's a good signing for a newly promoted side. So ultimately, at the moment, we are looking for the worst players, if that's true. We're looking for the worst players in the best sides to come and play for us, aren't we? That way we can become... He can be one of the better players in our side and we can, we're can we stronger together and we can move into 10th, say. And then we can start looking at teams that are from 1 to 6 that are fringe players that don't really get in a team, which is Longstaff, but let's pretend Longstaff's the worst player. So, you know, maybe 13th on the, on the list. Then you can maybe see if you can snatch him and get towards 6th. Surely, big lad, you must understand, you must have some reality that Mbappe, if you need a number 9, Mbappe ain't coming, is he? So, blow me. Can we do without Rutter till the end of the season? This is a bit of a concern, obviously. He's had his hernia operated on. And I'm not sure if we'll risk him. I've been trying to look it up, but it's hard to just not find, like, you know, what a normal hernia. But it's a sports hernia, so it depends how much of the surgery, how, how deep a surgery it actually is. There's different versions. I'm not a physio, nor am I a doctor, nor am I... I'm not... I'm not nout. Nout. But, yeah, I don't know if it, you know, 10 days to, to will have been after it to, what, to the Watford game. I'm not sure they'll risk him. But I can't imagine that they'd have put him through it if they didn't think he was going to get back in the running. Because ultimately he has been playing with it. Whether they've planned this and it's gone a little bit to the point where he can't keep playing through the pain, we don't know, do we? So what are, we thought, what are his thoughts on that? I think there's potential what he might miss the Watford game. That's my that's my feeling. But then ultimately it's two, two days later to Hull. You know, and we're, we're flying through games really, which then got me thinking, I, I don't think Struick's coming back. I, I don't at this point. They're on about making a decision. It will be in the next couple of days on him, whether he needs an operation or not, or whether we can actually use him. But I just think it's getting really messy, this. His last game were on Boxing Day. And even if even if we do get him back, how long is it going to take him to get up to some sort of speed? That's That'd be three months out by the end of this month, January, February, March. Yeah, three months out. A lot of you know a lot of games to be played as well. This is the madness. So by the 13th of April, we've only got three games left. You know... That then that's in two weeks. So uh, how fast can he get back? I think he's going to be in on the operating table, as it were, which is not great because obviously we, if Ampadu or Roden get injured, we, we're we're with Cooper or Cresswell, which you know, in the grand scheme of things, I don't think it's terrible replacements. But you know, we've been so strong. I just think that back line needs to stay as is until Southampton away. Eh, Southampton at home. I meant last day. It rhymes, you see. I can't help myself. And we apparently got Ampadu um, over a couple of mid-table teams, mid-table clubs in Germany, and I think one in... Um, oh, no, a couple of mid-table teams in Italy and then a team in Germany. Um, but that's the guy that that's the guy you want, isn't it? Obviously, he's been my player at season as Ampadu. He's been a beast. But you want someone with a long term in mind, don't you? Knowing that this club has every chance of going back to the promised land, to the Prem ultimately then puts him right back in the mix, doesn't it? And ultimately, I think if he went somewhere like Germany or, you know, 10th in league in Germany or 10th in league in Italy, his career gets a bit lost, doesn't it? You know, you've got to be at a side that's either, you're either unreal, you know, like when um, De Bruyne went to Wolfsburg or whatever, I'm not too sure how good they were, probably top six, top seven or something, I'm not too certain. But if you're going mid-table in Italy, I don't even know where that would end you up. I don't know, you know, Sampdoria or whatever. I think they were maybe shit this year. I don't really know. I don't, I don't care. But what I'm saying is, you know, they, they get lost. You can bang on as much as you want about, I forgot his name, that gadget that went to Roma, who was meant to be decent. We were on about signing him. Can't remember, English lad. And he can't, he's, he's apparently doing really well. 
and he can't get in England side and stuff. So I know, I know, Ampadu's never going to get in England side. You know, don't start thinking that. I think he's English. You get what I'm saying. I think they just get lost over there. Well, you might not get what I'm saying, but I don't give a shit. Well, as I spoke about yesterday, kind of give a shit. Don't really give a shit. Blind clothes, me out, just Joe, in it, bit, wit, killer, 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 kickflip. Boom. <laughs> <laughs>